Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video, I'm just doing a simple landscape scene. Um, I actually went out and bought one of these uh, butcher trays, you can see. I'll just show you that. It's something I've wanted for quite some time, but I didn't know where to get one. I actually went to um, an art shop in Manchester. So I did pick up a couple of these um, just to help me do these loose sort of paintings. And it's handy to, to do these paintings with a hake. I actually picked up another hake. This is the one inch hake, you can see. So it's a bit smaller than the one that I'm used to, but the butcher tray helps me to uh, mix properly and get a nice um, painting using the hake brushes. So I'm just starting off with the yellow ochre, just a light, sort of tea consistency of yellow ochre just cover um, just cover the paper for the sky and then in my tray I put in some cobalt blue so I'm just going in with that just to add some interest to the sky just letting it mix together um, again this is um, Bockingford cold press actually no it's not it's Bockingford rough paper it's 140 pounds and I've got that tape to my board and so I'm just going to let the uh, pigment come down just let the 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 watercolor flow and get a nice um, just a nice uh, just nice mix as it comes down the paper and so you can see I'm using the um, the butcher's tray um, I don't know whether that's the official name but I've heard people call it that and it makes sense um, for what it is. I'm presuming you can probably get these from anywhere, maybe uh, supermarkets or anywhere that sells sort of uh, cooking items. But I'm enjoying the way this allows me to mix colours. Um, the, the problem I always had was when I used the hake, I didn't have a smaller hake at the time. My other hair brush is probably about four inches wide, and so it was always difficult to get um, from my pan set. It was always difficult to pick up a single paint, and so this allows me to get a good mix and uh, add plenty of water and get a nice, uh, a nice mix going. So I'm just adding some distant hills, these could be mountains, hills, um, just using my hair brush just to add some of that blue sort of tone and a tiny bit I touched into the red. So it's giving me this nice little purple colour, so that'll be nice for distance. And then just bringing in some green and different colours into the foreground. And even up until this point, I'm not really sure what I'm painting, just, just going ahead and being quite loose and free. And I know I've done this uh, quite a few times, but I do enjoy doing this just to see what um, I can come up with. And I must admit, it's quite difficult doing this painting. Um, I know last week I spoke about the snow. We've had a bit of snow and it's been quite cold here. Um, I did actually take a fall and I've actually fractured my elbow. So there's a small bone in my elbow which has been fractured. I've been to A&E, had an x-ray, and they sent me away with just a sling. But I've got to say, I'm, I'm really glad that they just gave me a sling. I was glad that I've not got it plastered because I really wouldn't be able to do this painting and it would be hard to do any sort of movement. So it's been a bit eventful this sort of past week, but... I can actually move my arm as you can see and I'm able to do this painting.
was really nice going to the art shop um, this time, actually having some money to be able to spend um, in there because uh, re- previously I was just working sort of almost part time. So I never really had any money whenever I went into the art shop just to have a nosy, just to see what's in there. I very rarely bought anything. In fact, I, I don't recall buying anything from in there. So it was really nice. It, it felt almost empowering to be able to go in. And uh, there's actually two art shops in, in Manchester, and I, I managed to go in and get a few items from each shop. And I've uh, just waiting for delivery from Jackson's as well. So it's just nice to be able to try different things and um, try different materials. As you know, there's many materials out there and oftentimes they're not they're not cheap. Um, and I know it's been said, uh, many people recommend using the best that you can afford. Um, so that really doesn't, leave much option for the uh for the quality so it it was just nice to be in there and to be able to pick up a few things There's always something quite um, satisfying about removing the tape at the end of a painting. Um, Just got to be careful sometimes. I know uh, quite a few times I've ripped the actual paper. But let's take a closer look at this one. You can see see the water. Um, It was only halfway through that I decided to have some sort of river, a stream or whatever, running through the scene. And so I rubbed out the pigment, maybe you saw that, and I just thought I'd add a couple of buildings to the left-hand side, just to balance out with the tree on the right. Anyway, I hope you like this painting. Um, 
please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.